championship final to the start. They're off and trotting. Hanko Angus, moneymaker, is leaving a bit. Lifetime memories out well along the inside. Corncob Conk joins the top four on the far outside. Moneymaker is going to be spotted near the front. Racing five back is VJ's Viceroy. Magician getting away in six. Raffaello Ambrosio is seventh. Fool's goal is eased away. Floated out eighth on the outside. Then Psychic Spirit and Corvette Hennifer to his flank along the inside. Corncob Conk, Hanko Angus. Moneymaker shows up third past the quarter. Lifetime memories is fourth. Magician took in from fifth. VJ's Viceroy six and Fool's Goal still seventh on the outside. They trotted to the opening turn in 25 and four. Corn Cobb conked the leader into the back stretch. Hanko Angus landed in second. Money Maker dived in briefly. She's up and moving. Wally Hennessy wants her on top early before the half. Lifetime Memories is fourth. Magician brought out from fifth. Fool's Goal getting a wide, wide trip from six. VJ's Viceroy is seventh. Corvette Hanover picked up eighth. Raffaello Ambrose Goes ninth and Psychic Spirit tenth. Moneymaker has hit the front, 55 and three. Pretty moderate second quarter of 29 and four. Moneymaker three eighths of a mile away. Magician moving up on the outside to challenge on this final turn and prompt along the Great Mare. Corncob Conk is on the inside third. Hanko Angus is fourth. Lifetime Memories gaining fifth. Raffaello Ambrosio is sixth. VJ's Viceroy from seventh. Psychic Spirit was eighth. Corvette Hanover ninth. Fool's Goal made a break and is out of a tenth. Money maker off three quarters 124 and three magician is right up alongside her what a duel looming now magician poking ahead in front money maker trying to battle back on the inside but magician has got the number of money maker this night magician will stride away for dave miller and win the 49th maple leaf trot by two money maker thanks for the memories of brave and game second lifetime memories third magician has set the track canadian and stakes record 152 and 3. The Woodbines infield winner's circle. The winner of the 49th Maple Leaf Trot Magician. Royal Prestige five year old Bay Gelding from Incredible Charm. Owned by William Augustine of Plainview, New York. Trained by Earl Cruz and driven to victory by Dave Miller. Nine wins in 15 starts this year. We'll now move to over one and three quarter million dollars in life's earnings. Magician also sets the stakes, track, and Canadian trotting records all in one by virtue of this victory and takes a life's mark in the process 152 and three, a deserving champion of the Maple Leaf Trot Magician. Making the winner's circle presentation, Mr. Hugh Mitchell. the Senior Vice President of Racing for the Ontario Jockey Club to the connections of Magician. In the Woodbine Infield Winner's Circle, Greg Blanchard is standing by in just a few moments with winning driver Dave Miller. Tonight spoils the farewell party of Moneymaker and it took a track and Canadian record to do it. 152 and 3, Dave Miller. This horse seems to come up at the right time and he was fantastic again tonight. Yeah, he, uh, he does. He seems to show up at the right time and uh, he just raced uh, un unbelievably big tonight. Talking about the trip, uh, when Moneymaker got control, she got a pretty soft second quarter in and having to come first up, what were your thoughts at that point? Did you feel confident? Well, I, I, I really didn't want to have to come first up again. I, I waited on uh, the horse in front of me was, was half out and uh, I was hoping to pick up cover but uh, uh, when he's good he can rough it and uh, he proved that again tonight. Turning for home uh, you draw draw alongside of Moneymaker at that point. Do you feel confident you're going to go by? Uh, no not at all. Uh, you, you really can't tell about her. I've, I've gotten that close to her before and she's held me off and uh, I was never for sure until I got by her. Okay, Dave, we want to uh, thank you tonight. Congratulations. Good luck tonight in the Metro. You're driving Hasty Hall there. Thank you. Yeah, th thank you very much. That's Dave Miller, uh, winning driver. I've got Earl Cruz, who's the winning trainer. And uh, in fact, a little tradition here, Earl's father won this race back in 1968. Uh, does that make it a little bit extra special tonight? Yeah, any time you win a race like this is special. So, uh, yeah, it, it's special. Now, beating Moneymaker, you're one of the few horses to, to ever beat her, and you beat her twice in the same year. Uh, it's a little bit extra special when you beat her. Well, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a Moneymaker fan, so, uh, uh, you know, 
yeah, it's special to meet a horse like that. And uh, talking about Magician as an individual, uh, what would you say is his best quality as far as a racehorse makes him so good? Mm, I think it's his gait. He's, uh, he's, he just gets over the ground so easy. Doesn't seem to get tired. Last week, um, he wasn't getting over the ground good, and uh, I, I, I uh, listened to my friend here, Mike Richardson, and he, he suggested changing his shoes, and uh, he was right. When you were watching tonight from the sidelines, watching the race unfold with Moneymaker controlling it, what were you thinking at that point when you had to pull first up against her? Well, I was watching David and Sulky, and he looked like he had, he was pretty comfortable. And uh, like I said, he was totally different gated tonight, and he was grabbing the track, and, you know, I, I thought we were at least going to be second to turn up a hole, you know. It's great to see him go by. And will we see uh, him back in Montreal to take on uh, Moneymaker again, renew the ri rivalry uh, one more time this season? God willing, and the creek don't rise. <laughs> yeah. All right, Earl Cruz, congratulations on creating some of his own history tonight again. His father won the race back in 1968. Thank you. All right, let's take a look now at the changes for the upcoming seventh race tonight.